we're going to change the blade on this i have to loosen these two screws off and this plate will move out of the way so i can get at the nut and washer on the back that attached the blade to the actual unit now the uh, bolt here and the washer behind it are exposed okay the only problem is when you put a wrench on it is it's going to turn so if you come around to the other side all units are different but this particular one if you just push this in then if you rotate the blade what's going to happen is it's going to fall into place it's hard to show you that with a camera in my hand yeah, the bolt actually spins off in the direction of rotation so you can see here there's an arrow on the blade that tells you which way it rotates so basically in order to loosen it off you go in the same direction as the rotation of the blade behind it is a washer you can pop the washer off and if you notice it'll fit over the shape of the shaft there remember unplug it if you're going to do this yeah what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to actually pull the guard out of the way so you can get at this you can take the blade off and remember that when you install or reinstall it that the uh, teeth actually point away from the operator that's what it looks like behind the blade and you can see that the hole in the uh, center of this is fairly large on this particular unit and that will fit right over that shoulder there. The blade back on again. Like I say, the teeth are pointing in the right direction. And make sure that it's sitting on top and fully over the shoulder that's been behind here, the silver part. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that when you put your washer on, it fits over the space there. It's got a little bit of this shape to it. So it actually has a, uh, a, a convex shape to it. Make sure that that's working outward. And then now you're ready to reinstall. Your Lock bolt. it back into place and make sure that it's snug. You don't want to break the bolt off, but it has to be snug. You reinstall the guard and you're ready to fly.